Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about what happened to NP Thyroid. If you've heard the news, then you probably are already aware that NP Thyroid has been recalled, and that's exactly what we're going to be discussing today. I'm going to be talking about why NP Thyroid was recalled, what that means for you as a thyroid patient, and your ability to get other thyroid medications, and also what other thyroid medications can you use if NP Thyroid was something that you were doing well on and something that you, that you can no longer get because that's important as well. Now let's start first with NP Thyroid and what happened to it. So what you need to know is that NP Thyroid went un, what underwent what's called a voluntary recall by the manufacturer of NP Thyroid. So what happened is the manufacturer of this found that there was a defect in several of the lots and they voluntarily pulled that medication off the market so it is no longer available. Now, why did they pull it off the market? A lot of people are questioning this. They are wondering if it has to do with some sort of um, conspiracy to push people towards level thyroxine and synthroid. And I really don't think that's the case. In fact, um, as I explained it, I think it'll make a little more sense. So why was it recalled? It was recalled for something called subpotency. Now, in order to understand what subpotency means, we really need to have a little bit of a discussion on how thyroid medications, and actually just prescription medications in general, are tested to make sure that they are accurate or what we call potent. So when it comes to thyroid medications, there is, and, and all medications actually, there is a range that the medications must fall within in order to be classified as potent and in order to make sure that you get what is on the label. So let's just, we'll make a hypothetical example out of this and say that a manufacturer of NP thyroid wants to get 100 micrograms of medication into their capsule that you swallow by mouth. Now you might think you're getting that 100 micrograms every time you swallow your pill, but you would be wrong because there is a range that this manufacturer is allowed to fall within to still technically say it is 100 micrograms. Now that range is different for level thyroxine and synthroid than it is for natural desiccated brands such as NP thyroid, nature thyroid, uh, WP thyroid, armor thyroid, etc. Now the range that it must fall between um, in the case of level thyroxine and synthroid is plus or minus 5% of whatever they say that range should, or whatever they, that target dose should be. So in the case of 100 micrograms, which again, this is just hypothetical, I'm just making this up. If they say that there are 100 micrograms of this medication within this, uh, or, or, or there are 100 micrograms of medication within the capsule, it must have plus or minus 5% of that value. So in other words, it, it can be between 95 micrograms and 105 micrograms. So 5% on the high end and 5% on the low end. Now this only applies to level thyroxine and synthroid, and this is a smaller, more narrow range. When it comes to natural desiccated thyroid, such as NP thyroid, that range is extended by another 5%, okay? So you can have the actual dose be somewhere between plus or minus 10%, 10% on the high end and 10% on the low end. So what does that mean for you if you think you're taking 100 micrograms of medication? That means the dose can fall somewhere between 91 micrograms in one lot and 109 micrograms in another. So that's a pretty big spread that can exist. And this is one of the reasons that doctors, especially endocrinologists, like to say that the doses of natural desiccated thyroid, they are not consistent. They, you know, they're, if you take one dose, you're getting a completely different amount the next time you get the same medication and so on. Now there is a little bit of truth to this, but obviously they blow it out of proportion and so on. So what happened to NP thyroid? Well, it was found that upon further testing, when they looked at certain lots of NP thyroid, some of those lots fell below that 10% low end range that they claim or that their medications must fall between. So it is what is called subpotent, or it is a recall for subpotency. So we don't know exactly how much, and they don't tell us because, you know, obviously if they found it was like, let's say 30% below, that's obviously a big deal for thyroid patients. And honestly, even 9% range plus or minus is a pretty big range for thyroid patients as well. So I think if anything, um, this recall, and in fact, by the way, this has happened many, many, many times between uh, NP thyroid, NP thyroid, or NP thyroid, nature thyroid, and WP thyroid. So if anything, maybe we can tighten these ranges because that would be a net positive for all thyroid medica or for all thyroid patients who are taking these medications. Because seriously, if you're taking one lot and you're getting 91 micrograms, and then you take another lot and you're getting 109 micrograms, that's a pretty big spread between the two. Um, and that's not likely to happen every time, but it could happen. Um, and there are many patients that I've seen who are sensitive to even a couple micrograms um, of T4 or T3 one way or the other. So again, the, 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 uh, 
the percentage um, is obviously smaller as we get to smaller doses than it is to larger doses. And because more people are on smaller doses, it doesn't impact us as big as the example, the hypothetical example of 100 micrograms I'm using here, but it still is important for you to know. Now, what are you supposed to do if you are somebody who was taking NP thyroid, right? You were previously using it, you were feeling well. Um, and what are you supp supposed to do now, now that you can't get your, your NP thyroid? Well, it turns out that there are not very many options available to you, unfortunately, if you are trying to stick to natural desiccated thyroid. We have, I've, I just wrote an article, I haven't done a video on it yet, but there is a nature thyroid shortage going on and nature thyroid and WP thyroid, they were actually recalled, um, they were actually taken off the market last year, so they're still off the market, so those are not options. If you want, it, if you want MP thyroid and thought you could go to nature thyroid or WP thyroid, those are simply not available. Um, NP thyroid used to be one of those those medications that people on Nature Thyroid were going through, were, were switching to, but unfortunately now that is not available because of this recent recall. So really the only option for you is Armor Thyroid if you want to stick to a natural desiccated thyroid. Now again, people, uh, you know, they, they have an affinity for NDT because they really believe that it's natural and it works very well, and for a lot of people it does. But I'm here to tell you that there are other options available to you as well. So you should be aware that you can actually take the dose of whatever you're using on MP thyroid and you can convert it to a combination of two medications. Yes, they will be synthetic, but if you're feeling better, that's what's important because there are some people who will switch from NP thyroid to armor thyroid and they won't feel well. And so then they're gonna say, well, what do I do? Well, this is what you can do. You can actually switch. You have a couple options actually. So what you can do is you can try to get a compounding pharmacy to compound natural desiccated thyroid on your behalf. Um, your doctor will have to write a prescription for that. Um, the problem with this is that there are a lot of compounding pharmacies which are having difficulty in maintaining their supply of the, the raw uh, desiccated thyroid. So that may not be an option for everybody. Alternatively, what you can do is you can use a combination of two medications, such as, uh, let's say, tyrosine for your T4 component and cytomel or lyothyronine or sustained release T3 for the T3 component. So remember, every single grain of, of uh, NP thyroid or natural desiccated thyroid, this applies to both, but every single grain of NP thyroid has a, has a certain ratio of T4 and T3, which is part of the reason why it's so effective. What you can do is you can extrapolate out those individual doses, you can take them in individual medications, and you can essentially meet what you were taking previously, um, but in two separate medications. So that is still an option for you. Um, so you have three options available as I see it. You can switch to Armour Thyroid, but again, that might not work well for everybody. Uh, number two, you can try and get on a compounded natural desiccated thyroid, um, which your doctor will have to write for a compounding pharmacy. And number three, you can take individual doses of tyrosine or um, T3, such as cytomel, lyothyronine, and sustained release T3. Those are probably your best options at this point in time. Now, the question is, when will NP Thyroid be available? When will Nature Thyroid be available? When will WP Thyroid be, be available? Unfortunately, I don't have answers for you um, as it relates to that, although I'm keeping up to date on the information. So if anything changes, I will let you know, of course. So keep an eye out for those videos um, if they happen to occur. So that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure that you don't despair. There are still plenty of options available for you. Um, and you, you can, if you piece it together and you, do, you use some trial and error, you will find something that works just as well, if not better for you than NP thyroid. So again, don't despair about that. If you have any questions, leave them below. And as always, make sure that you download my free thyroid PDF resources. If you haven't already, um, I have tons of free resources, all designed to help thyroid patients just like you feel better. So that's all I have for you guys. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.